the first advantage of the LED is fast on and off situation and so we can use it rough and tough so you can fastly on and fastly off the second advantage of the LED is low operating voltage and less consumption of power low operating voltage and less consumption of power so we know that p is equal to v square r so such like that uh, we can say this thing v square by r where p is equal to i square r where i is equal to v by r that's why it is v square by r so next one is the wavelength which are emitted by these leds in the order of 100 to 500 angstroms which are almost monochromatic the order of wavelength is Hundred angstrom to five hundred angstrom, almost monochromatic. And uh, the another advantage of the LED is fast action. The last one, no warm up. So it is very difficult, very easy to handle. So, like this, we can say that uh, these are the advantages of the L because of these advantages in every aspect. Uh, these LEDs are most useful when you compare to the uh, the advantages that's why these LEDs are useful in uh, remote sensors remote TV remotes we know that TV remote has some one bulb the when you are pressing the button through the bulb that infrared radiation touches the TV screen or uh, the TV knob then correspondingly there is a change in the volume sound picture quality and the channel frequency also so those LEDs are useful as a bulbs in uh, TV remotes and optoelectronic devices, remote sensors. So many uses are there for these LEDs. One more example of the PN junction diode is solar cell. The construction of the solar cell is not that much easy. But if you want to show the schematic diagram of that one, it will be like this. So it is a two semiconductors combination N type and P type. The lower side is P type and the upper side is N type. So we can uh, different we can find out the separate wall like this. like this this is a n type semiconductor this is a p type semiconductor so p type semiconductors and the coverage is n type above the n type 
one metal conductor or metallic plate grip, grid like this. So the sunlight, not only sunlight, solar cell means everyone thinks that sunlight should fall on the top surface. Okay, sunlight has more intensity, the quick reaction takes place because of that we are using the sunlight. If the sunlight is not available, we can use any source of light which can emit the photons. So the effect behind the solar cell is photovoltaic effect. means the light which is incident on a metal surface is converting to voltage that's why it is said to be photovoltaic effect so this is the metal plate and this metal plate is just focused to the sunlight or any source of light which is high intensity which has high intensity so this metal plate is in contact with the n type of the semiconductor and lower part is p side and this p type is connected to the metal contact the metal contact so what is the use of all these parts whenever there is a light of some energy gap which has some bandwidth which can be able to sub overcome the gap between the n-type and p-type semiconductors whenever that light is incident on this metal surface only 15 percentage of this metal is placed on the n-type that's why most of the light incident on the n-type only because the gaps between these metal arms is able to transfer the electric current not only the sunlight so whenever the light falls on this metal plate and through the gap this light can penetrate through the n type and if this is the case what will happen is the recombination the current process through the n type and p type semiconductors is by three different steps what are those three different steps the three steps are first generation Second is separation, third is collection. Through these steps, an EMF will be produced due to the exposure of photosensitive light. So what is the meaning of generation? Yes. Whenever this light is incident on this metal surface, the electrons used to excite due to the applied energy. That's why recombination of electric and whole pairs will form. So generation means EH pair combination. Electron hole pair will form because of the applied light if the energy of that light is able to overcome the gap between the n-type and p-type. If this is the case, one part was over and what is the meaning of separation? The very next step is separation and this paired combination will be separated due to the depletion layer between the n-type and p-type. The separation. is due to depletion region the third one is collection because of this separation all electrons will go to the n type n type all holes will go to the p type semiconductors and the electrons which were which were went back to the n type they are in contact with the metal plate and some emf will be developed on the top and the holes which are went back to the p type the p type is already in the mat with the metal contact that's why this whole block will act as a positive electrode this whole block will act as a negative electrode so the positive electrode and negative electrode is formed 
Positive electrode is nothing but the combination of p-type semiconductor to the metal contact along with holes. Negative electrode is nothing but the n-type semiconductor with metal arm along with the electrons which are sent back to them. So that's why a potential is developed on either ends of the solar cell. Once the potential is developed, this potential should be transformed to one end to another end. For that purpose, we should apply a load. Once the external load is applied to the solar cell, then this potential can transfer to the p-type to n-type or n-type to p-type depends upon the majority and minority level of the charge carriers. Such like that, the solar cell is useful. Need not to use the sunlight. Once the sunlight is not available, we can use the any other light sources which can emit the most photovoltaics. Why we are using the sunlight? Because of the high intensity and naturally available. And what is the nature of the graph for this photo cell and how much wavelength it can be released? So, in case of solar cell, what are the materials which are useful for the ideal construction of the solar cell? Means, not all semiconductors are suitable to construct the solar cell. What is the minimum criteria for the semiconductor to be useful as a solar cell? That means, the semiconductor which has the energy gap in the order of some 1.5 EV. If energy gap is in the order of 1.5 EV, means some 1 to 1.5, then only these semiconductors are useful for the fabrication of solar cell. So what are the semiconducting materials which has this type of energy gap? Silicon, 1.1 EV, gallium arsenide, gallium arsenide, 1.43 EV, CDTE, 1.45 EV, CUIN SE2 1.04 EV. The semiconductors which has these type of values in the order of 1.5, they are best suitable for the construction of solar cell. And what will be the graph of, and the schematic diagram of this uh, photovoltaic effect? This is the PN junction, P type, N type, and the depletion region. We are keeping the depletion region is empty because generation, separation, collection all are taken place. That's why there will be no charge carriers in the depletion region. That's why we are keeping that one as empty. So, this is the radiation which has the energy of greater than Eg, nothing but the HNU. So, P type, N type and It will be like this. The resistance will be like this. Like this, it will be continued. Now, what will be the graph of the solar cell? It will be a reverse order. We will get the graph like this. This is the open circuit voltage. Closed circuit voltage. Open circuit voltage means once the radiation is incidenting and falling on that uh, depletion region, that is open circuit. Once it is the recombination takes place and the separation also takes place, that will act as a closed circuit. What is the use of this solar cell? Solar cells are uh, useful uh, as a rechargeable batteries in uh, our uh, what is that? scientific calculators and some of the devices which are useful to take the snaps of the space in the space vehicles the solar cells are there so like this solar cells are useful in many applications if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus